This is Twit. Well, we have another very interesting deep dive. This time we're looking at, sorry, this is a 9 to 5 Google APK Insight. This is when they take uh, an APK and decompile it. And whenever you decompile an APK, which is basically the binary that helps you install any like program on Android, you know quite a bit. You know too much often. It's actually kind of a vector of attack sometimes, but mm. this was for good. So this is 9 to 5 doing an APK Insight and they've actually found some new strings in the latest version of Google Play services that basically point to Android getting ready to replace passwords with pass keys that will sync to your Google account. So what does all this mean? So basically the idea of pass keys is something that is already being used on Apple. And basically rather than having you have a password for every single account and service, you will basically kind of really only authenticate to your Google account. And this will be using pass keys rather than passwords for any other service that you want to authenticate through the Google. So the pass keys are basically using, I believe, it's been a while since my cryptography class, but it's basically using public key cryptography, also known as asymmetric cryptography, where there's a public key and there's a private key. The public key, you kind of send out into the world because it's public. And then anyone that wants to communicate with you can use that public key to encrypt a message. And then you have your own little private key, which is the only key that can uh, decrypt that message. So they're, they're basically two keys that are mathematically connected. And it's a, it's a very, you know, well tested form of cryptography. So what's going to happen is, is if you want to register on a new online service, the service will, there will actually, you'll, you'll basically create, be creating a, a new one of these key pairs. It will basically allow you to keep your private key, which will be synced to, through Google. And then this new service through, with which you registered gets your public key. And that's basically it. So that from now on, whenever you want to sign in, you don't have to enter in a password. You just have to be authenticated through Google and that they will do the management of kind of like uh, authentication using these keys. And again, everything will be cloud synced through your Google account. And of course, that does mean that, you know, whether it's Apple, whether it's Google managing these keys, the security will now be <laughs> on the platform itself and how they authenticate you, how you're able to basically kind of restore uh, keys and credentials on your devices and things like that. But it really does look like Google is moving towards pass keys. And it's unsurprising because, you know, if you all have heard of, is it FIDO? I guess it's FIDO, the Fast Identity Online Alliance is basically this organization with, of a lot of different companies, big ones like Google and Amazon and kind of more governmental agencies like NIST that are really pushing people to replace passwords, you know, uh, two-factor two authentication and all, all other multi-factor authentications are great, but they believe that the future is pass keys, basically actually using cryptographic keys to authenticate people. So there you go. It They've got some, basically the strings that, that uh, 9 to 5 found in Google Play services are literally, hello, pass keys, goodbye, passwords. So if it, if, if it wasn't clear, <laughs> if it, you know, if, if maybe just speculating on code and like, you know, things, constants that might look like a thing, this is literally a message a welcome message in Google Play services. So there you go. It looks like hmm. Google is just going to be moving to pass keys with everybody else. So. I mean, I have, I have LastPass as my password manager and it kind of has the master key approach, right? It's, yeah. So I yeah. guess mm -hmm. it's kind of similar to that, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I have my main password that I need to remember that unlocks my vault and gives access to you know, all the different passwords that I have for whatever site I happen to be logging into. Some folks in chat room in the chat room are and Discord are kind of pointing out that this could lead to more lock in as far as Google yeah. is concerned, right? Yeah. It, it kind of goes away from the tried, tested and uh, you know, ubiquitous password and goes to this method methodology that is entirely based around yeah. your Google password. Um, right. So that's something to consider. I mean, that's not insignificant. Yeah. That's why I kind of laughed a little. I mean, so I think it's very fair. And I think that Fido's fear of of just the normal, like all of us, like all of us, I, I think many people, most people are bad with passwords. We reuse passwords. Mm. Oh, we don't yeah. change them frequently. Well, yeah, I mean, even also, so. also, sorry, not just to chime in there. A lot of people are bad with passwords, but... A lot of the services have made it increasingly 
more challenging for you to be good with passwords. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Where, yes. where the, the, you know, where it used to be in, and which I get, like, don't get, don't get me wrong. Like we've seen the reports and we've seen like, you know, the hacks and the leaks and stuff like that. And, and, you know, oftentimes if you use the same password on one site it, it, or, or multiple sites, it gets, it comes up in those reports and that's a danger. And I understand that it, it you know, it's better to mix uppercase and lowercase and numbers and symbols, mm -hmm. but when you're in a scenario where every site has a different paradigm or a different scheme, it is hard, it is nearly impossible for a sane person to keep track, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So like the yeah. whole the whole password protection important, you know, not not questioning the importance of it, but it makes it extremely that much more challenging to be yes. competent at it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think the, the, awesome. the strength of this thing of this is that the keys are different for every place you go. Maybe yes. Yeah. Yes, Pro so, it, it, it's generated for each one. It's kind of similar. I'm like to SA, like you would generate like a SSH key. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's generated for each site. And so I, I definitely am two minds about it. I totally agree, Ron. And also um, as a rant, what about sites that don't let you copy and paste in the password uh, like, thing? Yeah. And I just yeah. sit there and like dictate like, okay. Why do they do that? Key. Why do they I do that? No, I don't know. It yeah. feels like a false sense of security, like literally a false like feeling that this is more secure if you don't paste it. It drives me right. freaking nuts. Or yeah, yeah, like places that make it like only like, limit the, the length of your password, like only, only 16. I was like, are you serious? But anyway, that's a rant. I, yeah. I'm too, of two minds of this. I totally agree that, um, I, I agree with chat that this makes me nervous just because yes, like I, I recently had a friend whose dad got locked out of his Google account. And that's frightening, especially mm -hmm. with, I know, maybe I shouldn't say this <laughs> publicly. I'm a little too bought into Google. If that happened to me, it would ruin my week. A and also again, like as noted in the article, as noted in the article, like, yes, the ultimate security, the one-stop shop for where this is going to be ultimately safe or not in terms of this pass key is going to be the platform through which you sync your keys through Google, Apple, whoever. So if that whoever, or even, you know, even if it's a big player that, you know, it's out of your hands and Microsoft too. Yeah. So I get that, but I also get the point that, yeah, the average user is not great. And of course, yes, as Ron mentioned, everybody does it differently. Everybody is, feels like they're conspiring against you to make it harder to make your password managers work. So I don't, I don't know what the answer is personally, because I, I mean, and even I, it was only like last week that I actually got 2FA set up on all my really, really important accounts. So, I mean, even those of us, I think that are savvy are not immune to being lazy or just having better crap to do than to manage all these things. It's and challenging. Why I, it's challenging. Yeah. So I can imagine like my, my older father, you know, I, Oh my gosh. I really try to get him to be better with passwords, but he doesn't because it's hard. Um, it's, yeah. it's hard because he doesn't understand and using a password manager, especially when the extension breaks and he can't use it is difficult. So yeah, he's going to have bad password habits. And yes, having him on a Google like pass key is a little more like tolerable to me where maybe he just logs into Google and he's good at any site he wants to go to is hopefully yeah. better than what he does, which I'm not going to say, but it's a bad habit. Like yeah. one of those bad habits. Yeah. So, so many people have I, bad habits. Yeah, yeah, so they, yeah. most people probably. But, but, but you, but you mentioned, passwords. but when you mentioned, you know, lock into the Google account and the importance of 2FA, I mean, Jason, you know nothing about that. Right? <laughs> well, I just, <laughs> I just posted in, in Discord and on IRC yeah. episode 358 of This Week in Google back in June of 2016 was uh, the episode. <laughs> it's called Two Factor Folly <laughs> because during the show we were talking about Two Factor and while everybody else was talking and Ron, you were on that episode, Gina Trapani, was. of course, Jeff yeah. Jarvis. Oh and uh, while while you guys were talking, uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to set up my two-factor because I need to do it. And I've always been put, you know, wanting to do it and putting it oh, off. And best. I ended up doing it on the show. But I ended up using my Google Voice number as my two-factor authentication number, which means I need to be signed in to the account that receives the account so I can, uh, that receives the <laughs> code so that I can sign into the account. It was recursive. I ended up locked out of my my Google accounts, and ultimately, like, oh, I'm I'm almost certain only because I was on this particular show and Googlers watched and listened was I able to get back into the account. Otherwise, yeah. like, I could have lost everything, and it was frightening. Like, it was it was downright like it, it's it was in that moment where I'm like holy cow, my life is here and I might not have access to it yeah, again. You know, my digital life is is locked in in these walls and I can't get access yep. to it. So anyways, so I know what that, <laughs> so I know what that pain feels like. 
<laughs> it was scary. I like Jeff Jarvis's face on the thumbnail. And for those of you that are just listening to podcasts and can't see it, imagine the most perfect face palm, what on earth are you doing kind of face with his fingers to his forehead, just staring it was, it into the screen. It's the most amazing it, face. It was so amazing. <laughs> it was fantastic. So. Uh, oh, it's gosh, one, of, one of my more memorable uh, episodes of, of pretty much any show I've done on Twitch. Yeah, there we go. There's the, there's the screen. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, we're all doing a show, right? Like, and, and when it happens, everything that I normally use for the show just disappeared. It was like, it was like on a, on a, a movie where like the hacker hits enter and everything goes, right. Yep. And it was that. And I was like, uh, I had to like interrupt everybody and be like, um, so something happened and, uh, <laughs> Check this out. It was it was funny, funny and terrifying. So there you go. 